Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, that's Lemon Pest on the right hand side, and today we're back with some more Starfield. And last time we finished up here on Arcturus 2, we killed Paxton, and um, yeah, that's that sorted. But now we need to leave. We need to get in our fantastic starboard ship. And we need to begin shattered space. So let's get into it. Joop. Aha, right, come on Lemon Pest, let's get out of here. We've got things to do. Important things. Stuff and things. Oof. Alright. Okay, so... I think to begin Shattered Space, we need to jump to a planet that isn't associated with any current quests. So, shows her. Why not? Let's go and shows our faces. <laughs> Hello? They got nothing. So this is it, folks. This is where it all begins. Okay. Uh, so this is... Okay, this is a maroon ship. But somehow they drink Canuck. I mean, I can't say I blame them. Let's, let's put the light on. Else in here. Oh god! Oh, I hate the zero G. I hate it with a passion because it's bloody impossible to do anything properly. So okay, what? Well, I'm hearing whispering. Why am I hearing whispering? This is a little bit weird. Okay. Ooh, okay. Whoa. Jeez. Can I cut? Yep. The whispering lemon pest, it seems a little weird. Varu what? Varun guard helmet. Varun guard uniform. I mean Ah Varun shielded lab outfit. Compared to the other lab outfits, that actually isn't too bad. I'm, 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 I'm taking that. Should I, should I just take the whole thing? It's, it is unique, isn't it? So, all right. Oh, hello. Okay, can I? Yep. Can I? Okay. Oh. My God, this is dark, awkward. Okay, can we? Ooh. Oh, give me that adaptive frame. Hey, hey! I see something good. Med pack. Do you suppose that we can turn the gravity back on? Maybe. Maybe there's a means. Okay. There's no... Okay, there's no... Um... What, what, what? Okay. Oh, just, just, just the usual garbage. <sighs> Alright. What's in here? Oh! Oh, I thought that was a key card. I don't know why. Okay. What's the whisper? I don't like the whispering. The whispering's a little weird, isn't it? Alright. Okay. Well. Oh dear. Um. Oracle security. Well, okay, my friend. So the Oracle is some kind of Star. Okay, so I didn't mean to take another guard uniform, but never mind. Maybe Lemon Pest could wear that. That might suit him. He is my guard, after all. Although I'm not Varun. Okay, who are you? I cannot give up. Uh, hello? Oh, okay, you disappeared. Um. Alright. Was he a ghost? Some kind of... Why are the whispers? It's just freaky. Okay. This is kind of spooky, actually. Okay. 
Any any notepads or anything? Anything to tell us of what happened here? Okay, um, what about over this way before we go through the door? Just take a peep, just a peep. It was kind of kind of bright, but oh, hello. Okay, somebody dead. Notebook. Okay, creds. I don't really want the grey labour jumpsuit or the pen. I mean, were you taking notes down here in this this little section? All right, let's 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 get out of here. Ooh. Oh God! Oh God! Oh dear! Oh Lord! Um. Okay, lemon pest. Where are you? Let's um. Move on, shall we? Okay. Okay, what's that? What is that? Oh, okay. Oh. You are strong. Concentrate. I'm trying, Sarah, but it's getting worse. Can you feel my mind slipping? Oh my god. Fragmented. I'll become one of them. You have to get away from me. One of them? What no, does that mean? I will not leave you here. It's pointless. We share the street. This is our end. The great. Oh my god. I can't stop it. What the hell? Okay. Okay, okay, all right. I mean, bloody hell. What happened though? Okay, okay, uh, let's have a look. Um, look at the value on that bad boy. Holy credits. Particle fuse. Um, yeah. Oracle access card. Vortex shard. Look at that. Wow. Kind of pearlescent at the base. That's kind of cool. Okay. Basira's log. Oh. I meant to read it. Let's have a look. Basira's log. Basira's log. Basira's log. There it is. Great serpent, there are so few of us left, and while I have spent my entire life in devotion to you, I find myself afraid of death, of what it is to come. Perhaps we are the cliché, delving too deep into things better left unknown, paying the price for trying to glimpse too much. Forgive us our curiosity, our selfishness, our pride. We only wish to truly find you, but it seems we will still meet in the traditional way in death. Good God, so we've got to listen to this dude. Let's go. This should be the last. Is somebody there or... Do I... Do I need to talk to him? turns against me. I must return to engineering and make one last attempt to restore the power. Okay. Um. What the hell is going on? Find Sidak's logs. Sidak did logs, did he? So what? 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 What the hell is this thing? I mean, it's very glowy. Can we scan it? Uh no. Okay. So I need to find his logs, do I? His logs might tell us stuff. And that would be useful. Okay. Oh. What the hell? All right. Um Yes, yeah, some some something went down here. Okay, give me that cred stick, please. Thank you. Creds, creds. Always take the creds. Oh, can I? Can I have it? Go. Lower pest. Oh God, did he just boot it somewhere? Oh no! Give me the cred stick. There we go. Battle stim. Uh. Hmm. Oracle engineer. Okay. Another Oracle engineer. What is this? Look at it! Whoa! Okay. 
What? Okay. Whoa. 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 Oh God, bless it. Honestly. Calm. For long. For long. A phantom. Some kind of phantom or something. Okay. What? What the hell are these things? Okay, can I, can I, okay, this is, this is, this is not good. Okay. Man, I hate the fighting in Zero-G, it's bloody awful. Lemon Pest, please be careful, mate. Uh, where is this one? Well, don't go into it. Okay. All right. Okay. So, what the hell were those things? Some kind of like ghosts or something? This is weird. What? So he's that way. So assumedly his logs might be somewhere. I mean, this is—it's kind of pretty actually, in a in a way that hopefully we won't die from. But you know. Um, what is this? What did they do? What did they start? Oh, we can't get through there, really. We can't get to ops. Okay, um... Look at this! Look at that! Like a heart! Well... Okay, let's, um... Let's just take a little look in here. Okay, what's 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 this? Oh, what the hell? We got like fires in here. What? Okay. Um So this is a Varun Star Station, is it? Interesting. Is this something? No. Okay, lemon pest, we just have to be careful with this here. What's over? Okay. What's over this way? I want to find his logs. Because if I find his logs, I think... I think we'll possibly find some answers. Yep, there you go. His logs are down here, I thought they would be. Anything over this way? Look at this! What is it? Like rock or...? Oh dear. Um, well... And a vortex shard. Vortex shard? Ah! These were the guys that we killed before. Vortex phantoms. What's that? Oh! Bits of it. Okay. Oh! Kind of loud down here. Okay, so are these his logs? Can we have a look? Okay, that's that's log two. This is Irak Vetal. Oh. Post incident log. After the initial jump, areas of the Oracle have somehow been sectioned off by. In fact, we will we will listen to them in order. How about that? We'll listen to them in order. So we get the full and proper account. I can't believe that they just have like. Live flame on a ship. This looks like a door. It's not. Okay. Uh, okay. There's just bits flying everywhere. This looks like a door too. What's in here? Oh! Okay. What's this? Is this an elevator? No. Okay, jeez. Where, where? Uh, okay, this is a little bit weird. Oh, fine. We'll continue our way cautiously. Cautiously optimistic, as usual. Creds. 
I mean... Huh. Just seems very odd, doesn't it? Very spooky. Uh, okay. Panopticon, yep. Uh, ooh. What was that? Groat? What the hell is a groat? Can I? Okay. Meat from a groat. I'm not going to take it because I don't know what a groat is. And it sounds awful. It sounds like grot or scrot. Neither of which am I interested in. Um, oh, hello. Oh, disappeared. They got starborn powers? Where, where, where did they go? Or did they die? Did we, ki did we kill them, one of us? Did we do it? Nothing left of them. Oh dear. Well, alright. Uh, this is obviously some kind of cafeteria, which... I wouldn't like to think that he'd leave his logs here, but you never know, I suppose. Oh dear, that's a lot of bodies. Anything else over here? Wah! No. Alright. Well, let's continue onwards. Okay, alright. Bloody hell. What? This is a little weird, but alright. Med pack. Excuse me. Thank you. Med pack again. They had a lot of med, med packs. Creds. Creds. Okay. Security access. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Can I? Can I? Can I? Yep. Okay. We're in. We're in. Kind of. Wrenches. Hello? Is there anybody in at all? Hmm. Okay, um... Do I or do I not? Let's just do a quick reload. I'm just... Conscious of what we could potentially run into here, Lemon Pest. Old flip lighter, quantum edge combat knife, but no log. I want to find all the logs because I want to know precisely what happened here. So we can go down another level, potentially. Let's have a look, eh, Lemon Pest? I am all kinds of curious. This is some kind of server room? Bloody big server room. But then server rooms do tend to be quite large. Can I... Ah, hello. Okay. Hmm. So what's up here? Ah. These like storage things? Do they have anything in them? No. Never mind. What's in here? Is that was that was that a mag tank? It bloody well was. Take it. Okay. Ooh. Squall. Any any logs? Come on now. What are these? What do these do, I wonder? Do I want to know? Do you reckon lemon pest? I do, I do. Okay, so... Bonk. Okay. Five. There was nothing in five. Did lemon pest kill him? Did you do it, lemon pest? Did you do it? I think you did. Okay. So... Spice? Wait, what? I mean, alright, can I can I have that? Thank you. What's this? Cobalt. Okay. Lemon um, Pest, did they leave a a corpse? They did. Holy okay, creds. Uh 
heavy fuse particle and then all that vortex shard what what can we use the the vortex shards for I wonder okay let's oh pop up into here it's micro propellant okay a lot of dead bodies here oh sorry sir don't mind us we are but exploring the okay um creds and a vortex shard why not okay Ooh, this this feels a little dodge okay oh God, the zero G. I, I can't with the zero G. Oh, it's so annoying. Okay. Okay, hatch. What's in the hatch? Oh, it's a shower room. Showering area. Toilets. Okay. Okay. Okay, why? It's like this person evaporated or something. Okay, why is there a... No. We don't want to know. We don't want to know why there is a plunger stuck into the wall. Okay. Okay, so this is obviously the, the sleeping quarters, I think. Any more of his his notes? This is what I want. I want the notes. Come on, Lemon Pest. Let's see if we can... So we can go back up, or we can go further down. How big is this place? My God. That's the only problem with this weapon. It kind of pushes you back. It's so powerful. Excuse me, I'm coming in. Oh, I see a key. I see a key. Engineering bay access card. Thank you. What a safe, hey. Get in. Credits, coolant, and a mono propellant. Very nice. But still, no more of his notes, and that is what I want. Professionals advance Orion. Decent value on it. Decent value. Okay, pestle. Grinding up some herbs or something. Oh my god. I'm literally following in your footsteps right now. You're floating in my footsteps, Lemon Pest. Digi pick. Okay, so we've got a terminal and we've got another that's log three. The Oracle has continued to jump. It is completely out of our control. Oh, jeez, Louise. Not only that, but I believe the initial surge of energy we experienced is transformative. With each passing day, more of the crew succumb to whatever residual... Stop. We, we want to listen to them in order. So we get the full story. Good God. Chunks... Gr what is Groat? What is it? Varun Groat flavoured... Ch I don't want to... I'll take the lemon. You can keep the groat. Like I say, it just it sounds too much like scrote for me, and I am not interested in putting anything that sounds or looks like a scrote anywhere near my mouth. Thank you very much. I am not about that life. So what's in here? Okay. Ah, this is where we were before. All right. So... Let's uh, mosey down now and see if we can find any more of his his logs. Because I want the full story and then we'll listen to it. There we go. Look at that. Quick sticks. Quick sticks were down. Good lord. What a place. What a place this is. It's huge. 
I suppose. I suppose it is a start station, isn't it? So I can't be really su surprised that it's um, okay. Yeah, seaweed, seaweed wine, Cal calibrated varun penumbra. What's a penumbra? Ooh, that's kind of like. I don't know why that just made me think of Boba Fett. That's weird. Probably the green, isn't it? Vortex shard. Okay. Well, um, brilliant. Not what we were looking for, but... <sighs> Surely to God. What's this? Teal Varun suit with scarf. Can I... We'll take it and we'll take a look. Nikolai Nicholsey. Chapter 1 introduces all the rest... They once lived in a sequestered part of the city of Dazra, one Mr. Godfrey Nicholsey, a worthy gentleman who, taking it into his head rather late in life that he must get married, and not being young enough to, or rich enough to, inspire, to aspire to the hand of a lady of fortune, had wedded an old flame out of mere attachment, who in her turn had taken him for the same reason. But the man, angry at his station in life and the authority of the great houses, Threw it with the threw in with the zealots and threw away the love of a good woman. Charok Varun's third novel is the tale of a young man who struggles to support his family after his father loses sight of the great serpent's true message, joins the zealots, then dies penniless and alone, which also results in his wife's subsequent suicide. Well, how truly awful! It sounds like such an enjoyable read. See, okay. Creds. Yep. Nah. Nah. You can keep that. Come on, we want some more of his notes. I want the full story. The full script. I want to know what's going on in this bloody place. Okay. Yep. Well. Target practice. Alright, well. It's not really answered any questions, but Come on then, Lemon Pest. Hmm. Well, I have to say, this is quite the place. Quite the place indeed. So we've bit. Wait, we didn't look at the terminal, did we? Okay. Ah, private user, Sirak Vethal. Entry one. Something terrible has happened. While I try to remain analytic in my logs, I find myself terrified for all of us here aboard the Oracle. We have lost so many already. We had no time to prepare. How could we, when it is our very friends and co-workers who turn on us in an instant? And even if we had proper time to react, how do we bring ourselves to kill those same people? Oh dear. Entry 2. The Oracle has jumped again, spurring on a second wave of transformations. We are losing too many too quickly. And what if the station continues to jump? Corrin and I tried to reach the operations centre to see if we could regain control of the station, but it is overrun with aggressive phantoms. Corrin did not survive. May the serpent embrace him. Basira enlisted my aid in creating a new protocol for the Oracle to follow if we can only reboot the mainframe. Perhaps Nadine can help us connect to the operations controls through my computer here to, in order to install it. Entry 3 Thank the Great Serpent for small victories. Nadine was able to help us connect to the operations mainframe and install a new protocol. Now all we need to do is force the Oracle's mainframe to reboot and hope it prevents the random jumps we are experiencing. Once rebooted, the Oracle is now programmed to return to Varun Kai's orbit and transfer all of our research data. All we need to do is last long enough to reboot the mainframe. Somehow. Only a handful of us remain. Nadine, Basira and Taras. Nadine believes we can force the Oracle to shut down if we can reach the engineering bay, but we all know that our hostile brethren await us there. Hmm. Okay. Well, so they started experiencing random jumps by the sounds of it then, which is obviously not ideal. In any sense of the word. Um. Oh, hello. There we are. Ah, I'm a pest. Kill him off. Come on. We can do this. We have the technology. 
We have the know-how. Are y'all in here? Hello? There we are. Anyone else? Hello? Well, I'm gonna loot your colleague. Yep, yep. Vortex. Shh. Okay. Let me. Okay. What? Can I? Can I? Okay. Thank you. Oh, you're down there, are you? There we are. All right, I've got some kind of key card though as well, so maybe we could access something. Yes, yes. Vortex shot. Can I? Oh my god. <sighs> Picked up yet another bloody hard target. <sighs> oh, do you know what? Do you know what? Forget it. It's fine. If we need to drop it, we'll find it. All right, so... Oof. Literally right through her, but never mind. Okay, so we've got a key card now. Did we... Did we peep in here? Yes, we did. All right. Come on then, Lemon Pest. Let's see what else we can find. This is very strange and very interesting, actually. Varun ships. We never thought we'd see the day. Still, it would have been nice to have done this with Andreja, but, well... Honestly, after, um... After what happened with the Neuroamp, I don't think she'll like us that much anymore. She, um... She seemed quite happy when we shelved it, but I don't know how she'll feel if we tell her that, no, we've not shelved it. We have, um... Put it into operation, so... We assumedly can't get in there, no. And I don't think there was anything for us in here. By the looks of it. Oh, there was an upstairs. What's through here? Okay. Okay, where does this go? Apparently the only way is up. Bloody hell. Oh, hello. Alright, can we... Ooh, here we are. What's in here? Yep. 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 Any more logs? Not seeing any more logs yet. Come on, Lemon Pest. Let's continue onwards. Floating through this nightmare. Good lord. Okay. Ah. That's a log. This is Irak Vettel. There you go. Post-incident log. Something has gone horribly wrong. We were in orbit directly above Dazra, monitoring our current experiments when we experienced a sudden energy surge. I fear the source came from the city itself. It triggered our graph drive and jumped the Oracle to an unknown location. We thought members of the crew were somehow lost in the jump. But later... We were attacked by what I will refer to as Vortex Phantoms. I thought I recognized some of them. Could it be that the energy surge has somehow transformed them and warped their minds? Oh dear. Okay, so that was one. Uh, what about two? Let's have a look here, notes. So, log two. This is Irak Vettel. Post-incident log. After the initial jump, areas of the Oracle have somehow been sectioned off by strange energy fields or barriers. The fields allow no one to pass and are Oof. somehow able to repel, almost teleport, the trespasser back. I am certain these new fields are related to the Vortex Phantoms. Both resonate with the same energy pattern. The exact same pattern we were studying for Anasco's experiments. Something happened in Dasra. And if the situation is bad here, I fear for our brethren in the city. Ooh. Alright, so number three. 
Where is it now? Notes. Okay, we did pick up another log there as well, so we'll have a listen to that, I think. Uh, right. Sirax log three. This is Sirax vessel. Post incident log. Okay. The Oracle has continued to jump. It is completely out of our control. Not only that, but I believe the initial surge of energy we experienced is transformative. With each passing day, more of the crew succumb to whatever residual energy we were exposed to. Most are instantly hostile, but we discover some are able to retain a sense of self. At least, momentarily. Alright, did we come through here? I think... Yes, we did. Okay. Alright. So we've got one more log to find. Of his, anyway. Whew. Oh, this was where we came in. Well, never mind. We can have a little look. Take a quick peep. Huh. Hold on. Hmm. Where would his last log be, do you suppose? I mean, it might be through that section, but... Just... just querying it. Ebora's log, that's what it was. I am writing this in what may be my final moments, because Basira thought it might ease my mind, but I believe that is an impossibility given the circumstances. After arguing with her for longer than I would like to admit, here I am writing regardless. I believe I have come to accept my impending death. Perhaps my greater faith in the Great Serpent allows for this. My colleague, Emerson, has succumbed to his weakness and retreated to crew quarters. You would think our Chief of Engineering would have a greater resolve. It is a good thing I am no warden, only a lowly scientist. Unlike many, I have no friends or family that will miss me and the feeling is mutual. My one regret is not having the chance to complete the path of redemption one last time. Now that I have written some, I know for a fact that I feel no better. I will, however, take great pleasure in telling Basira she was wrong. Well, I mean, all right. I suppose that's 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 fair, in a weird way. Can we? Yep. All right. So maybe it is in here. Is that it? No, that's the PC. We don't want to mess with that yet. Whoa. Not gonna lie, this is kinda cool, isn't it? Look at this! Whoa. Holy guacamole, that's kinda cool. Okay, who's who are you? Okay. Uh so this was some kind of power drive thing, maybe? I don't maybe? Not pack. Ah, can we go in here? Aha! What's this? Is this his final log? C can I get on the bloody walkway for crying out loud? Oh god. I didn't do it, it wasn't me. Ah, here we go, his final log, folks. Log 4. This is Sirak Vital. Post incident log. I am one of the few remaining unaffected crew on the Oracle. Nadine. Basira and Taras are the only others I was able to find. I fear it is just a matter of time before we succumb to this energy that is turning the others. How long will we last? And will my mind be strong enough to hold out when my time comes? Basira and I have programmed the Oracle to return to Varun Kai's orbit once it is able. All of our research will automatically be transmitted the moment we are within Dasra's range. I pray our work here was not in vain. Mm. All right, so we can restore the Oracle's power. Ooh, what's this? Engineering lab computer. Vortex anomalies? Vortex phantoms. 
Transformations. The vortex phantoms we've been encountering aboard the Oracle are definitely human members of our crew. We believe exposure to the energy surge from Dazra has facilitated this transformation. Some are instantly aggressive, attacking anyone unaffected. Others are able to maintain a sense of self and remain passive. It isn't clear what prompts the change from passive to aggressive, but the change appears inevitable for now. Movement. The Vortex Phantoms have some capability to phase. In simple terms, we've witnessed them disappear from one spot and reappear in another, and we've also seen them use this as an ambush tactic. Each phase is accompanied by a small burst of Vortex energy, so our current theory is that they are somehow using a Vortex plane as a form of expedited travel. This ability makes me more certain the energy wave we encountered that triggered the initial transformations was related to grav drive technology. I've consulted with our remaining scientists, Sirak and Basira, and they're in agreement. Due to the hostile nature of the majority of the Vortex Phantoms, it has been impossible to gather more data, but I'm hopeful we can find a way. Awareness. The passive Vortex Phantoms appear to have limited awareness of their surroundings. We've witnessed them acknowledge their aggressive kind, but when it comes to those of us who are unaffected, communicating with them has proven futile. The aggressive Phantoms, however, seem to have no issues locating us, although some are more aware than others. We are unsure why a difference even exists. Both passive and aggressive Phantoms appear to have issues interacting with their surroundings, but to what extent still remains to be seen. Huh, okay, Vortex Fields. The Vortex Fields are another result of the energy wave from Dazra hitting the Oracle Station. The energy signature they present is visually similar to the Vortex Phantoms, but without being able to gather data from the aggressive Phantoms, I haven't been able to compare the two to be certain. Initially, only one or two fields were discovered, but the number have increased with subsequent jumps, cutting us off from different areas of the station and our fellow comrades. The vortex fields allow nothing to pass, repelling those who enter. We can only speculate what interacting with these fields too much may lead to. Hmm. Lab reports. Okay. Experiment 79-354.10. Observation report baseline. Initial test of dual power cell integrity was successful. This was expected as our first test to record baseline data for standard usage. Efficiency ratings 100%, system validations passed, one is generated, zero. So were they maybe trying to find a, another energy source or something? Experiment 79-354.27 Observation report, overload. When induced, both power cells were able to withstand an overload of 125% before running failsafe protocol and ejecting. Buffering units safely dissipated excess energy with no harm to cell integrity. Governor correctly accounted for and controlled the ejection speed. A total of five warnings were generated, which was expected. Efficiency readings 100. System validations passed. One is generated. Five. Okay. Experiment 79-354.30. Observation report, stress test and recharge. We ran the individual power cells through a simulation of the maximum energy usage for the Oracle station. Both were able to withstand the drain for a prolonged period of time, estimating their longevity to be approximately 30 years. Recharge stimulation exceeded expectations, taking only one hour needed to reach minimum required power and 32 to reach maximum capacity. Efficiency readings 100%, system validations passed, warning generated 2. Project Live Project ID 79-354 was approved for live usage for the Oracle station. Transfer of power was successful. Further experimentation has been postponed due to work on operations project ID 79685, which will require full support. Only anomalous behaviour will be noted until work on 354 may be resumed. Oh dear. So they were doing some kind of maybe trying to find a, a means to make the power more efficient or something? That seems like the case. But... Oh god, what's going on? Lemon Pest, what's happening? Are you alright? Is there somebody there? No? Or are you just making racket for no reason? Okay, what else is in here? Oh god. Bloody... There you go. Cred stick, cred stick. Can I get it? There you go. Yeah, it seems like they were maybe trying to 
find an alternative or a or maybe make their equipment more efficient possibly i don't maybe something okay oh god oh this is the trash room clearly oof Ugh. stinky bins stinky bins can i open this no can't open this oh i have to use the door thing can we ha there we go well yeah i think this is potentially the just the garbage disposal good lord there's a lot of what the hell carrots what okay power cell Okay, what? What's going on? Okay, uh Excuse me, boxes, get out the way! Bloody... Oh, God. Can I? Can I? There we go. Okay, well... I don't know what happened there, but... We're alright. I thought we were going to get squashed or something. Compacted it into a a small sandwich. Can I not go through here? Oh, I can't. There you go. So, what's... Da oh. Um. Micro... Molecular sleeve, even. Sieve. Oh, my God. Sleeve, sieve. Jeez. So, this is just clearly the, um... The bin. Give me that. All right. Can I get out, please? Oh, God. Can I? Please? Thank you. Yep. Just... There we go. All right. Well. Okay, Lemon Pest. Okay. Anything else in here? Good God. So. Okay. Well, I suppose we'd better open the door. Ah, we're back out here again. Okay, well, let's, um, let's get this bad boy running then, I suppose. Assumedly, once we set it running, it'll take us to the Varun homeworld. Like I say, kind of wishing we'd brought Andreja along, but, hell. Lemon Pest is just as good. Okay, can I? Thank you. Warning, station is utilising emergency power. Safety protocol 12.5 enacted. Due to a power surge, the secondary power cell has been ejected to prevent catastrophic failure. The secondary power cell must be reconnected to restore full power. Haven't we done that? Uh, what is... Okay, uh, safety protocol... 12.5. In the event of a power surge, the secondary power cell unit will be ejected to prevent a breach of capacity which could lead to catastrophic failure of the Oracle's power supply. This action preserves the secondary power cell in case the primary power cell is damaged. The primary power cell remains in place to maintain emergency power for life support. A licensed engineer is required to confirm the safety and function of the power array. Once confirmation is received, the secondary power cell may be moved back into place. Once reconnected to the array, the mainframe reboot will be required to properly re-establish all connections throughout the Oracle station. Alright. Reconnect the secondary power cell. Secondary power cell will be reconnected. Please ensure all personnel are clear of the conduit area. By selecting confirm to continue, you are verifying the power array has been cleared by a licensed engineer. Yes. Secondary power cell reconnection failed. Unable to establish connection with the secondary power cell. Please consult your licensed engineer to confirm the secondary power cell has been properly pla replaced. Serpent's big. Okay. One of the power cells dislodged in the last jump. Okay. Can I put gravity. it back? Restoring the gravity may pull the cell into place. Okay. If I can get to the control room, if I can check. No. They are coming. Who are? Oh, those dudes. Okay, that's this. This is not ideal, is it? Okay. Okay. Can I? Um. There's one more somewhere. Eleven pest. Oh. Okay. 
Can I? Yep. Yep. Can I just? Yep. Can I? Vortex shard. Let's just. Yep. Advanced Varun spacesuit. Ah. Oh, okay. Uh, there's another one somewhere here. Where the hell? Okay. What the? Where the? What the hell? Okay, that's yeah, that's not a view I needed. All right, let, oh, you found it, man. You found Nadine. All right, can I? Yep, Nadine's log, creds, light particle fuse, and an emergency kit. Marvelous. Is there someone else? Or Oracle engineer, I think. Yes. All right. Well, let's listen to Nadine's log. Before we do anything else, see what she had to say for herself. Nadine's log. New items. Nadine's log. Okay. Didn't we listen to Sirak's last one? Okay. As I write this, there are three of us left. Sirak, Basira, and myself. We have all accepted the inevitable that either we're destined to fall victim to these vortex phantoms, as Sirak calls them, or we're destined to become them. I pray it's the latter. One final step into the unknown. The mortal aspect of me fears the change, but the scientific aspect hopes to embrace it. To my fellow scientists and loved ones, do not mourn me. Know that I have bore witness to unimaginable things here. My only regret is not having the tools to properly study them. But as I said, death is upon me, and all mysteries are soon to be solved. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Well... I mean, it, it, it didn't end well, did it, really? For anybody, I suppose. But, okay, so... We're looking to restore the power. Okay. Um, I didn't mean to pick that up, but that's fine. Okay, ow. Okay, can I... Can, what the hell? Did I just fall into it? Is, is that a thing? I just wanted to loot, that's all I wanted. Okay, light particle fuse... Okay, I'll, can I, can I, can I, hello? So don't fall into this, because it will do you in. Marvellous. Alright, Lemon Pest, be, be, be careful. Hmm. Well, let me just top my health up. There we go, marvellous. But we will leave it there for today, I think. Next time we will restore the power and um, get this mother moving. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>